Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the back patio. We're just getting things in order for summer. This, I've been talking about this for weeks. We've been needing to do this for a while. We've got some work to do. We're having to replace some of our deck boards. We have this covered patio and then we also have a pool deck that is uncovered and some of those boards were in bad shape. So I'll show you that. We're gonna replace some of those boards. Unfortunately, this year, we're not going to be replacing the whole deck. Um, we thought about maybe doing that with the composite decking. We priced that. It is very expensive. So for now, we're just going to replace the boards that we need to replace. We're going to get everything cleaned up and in order. I'll show you everything on my patio. I'll show you our setup and kind of how our patio is attached to our house. What's covered, what's uncovered. I'll show you our pool. We have an above ground pool. We'll just get into all the things today and do some cleaning and just get everything put together. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, be sure and give it a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. It just lets YouTube know that you enjoy my videos and that you want to see them and they will let you know when I upload a new one. I do upload a new video every week. I usually upload on Tuesdays. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get this patio in order. Stay tuned for the end. I'll show you a nighttime view. We do have some lights hung up and I'll show you a nighttime view and I hope that you enjoy. First up, we're just bringing around a few things from the basement, some things that we had stored down in the basement for winter. A lot of stuff we left up here and we just sat it up and underneath the covered part of the deck. We used to always bring everything down to the basement at the end of summer every year and it's just really a lot of work. So we got a little bit smarter and we keep a lot of stuff in underneath the covered patio, but we do still use it sometimes in the winter too because we have fairly mild winters here. So we don't want to completely junk it up. So some of this actual pool deck furniture we do keep in the basement so we're just bringing some of that around and getting it set up we also stored this big rug down there I like to put it out in the summertime I don't leave it out all winter though because the dogs are really bad to want to lay on it and it gets very dirty so we're just moving our couch around and getting some of those leaves out from behind there and we are just going to put this rug down and get our sectional put back in place I have a couple of signs that I absolutely love. I found this one a few years ago at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still carry those or not, but I always kept it above my couch here, but I recently got this custom made sign from Tailored Canvases, and so we hung it above the couch, but I really think I want this porch bucket list back up in that place. So we're just gonna do some switching around. I'm gonna put the custom sign over here on this wall. We just use these little brick hangers whenever we hang signs on our back porch here. They work pretty well. You can find those at um, Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store, I'm sure. They hold up pretty well. Occasionally, if it comes a pretty windy storm, we will have one knocked down, but they hold up fairly well and you don't have to drill into your brick. So here is a look at what that sign looks like. I think it is perfect for this space. So this is our current little dining table that we have out here for our outdoor patio. And I have these kind of blue turquoise looking um, little cushions on there. I've had those on there for several years now and they've held up great. I think they came from Lowe's. Um, they're just really thin and they're kind of, I think they're double sided. I think I used to just have them on the plain side and then I turned them over and I'm just ready for something different. So I came across some at Walmart and they were in my local store, but they only had three and of course I needed four. So I got online and they were marked down to $15 each. So let me get those opened up. We're gonna see if they will work here and I'll show you what I got. Here's what I got. They're just a really neutral color, just kind of a cream color. They're kind of textured. I like the way they feel. These are much thicker and they look like they would be a lot more comfortable. So I'm hoping they are going to fit. Let's get them on here and see.
Okay, I think I really like these. I was a little iffy if they were going to be the right size for these chairs, but it was such a great deal. I wanted to make them work and they are so comfortable. They're very plush, very comfy. I also picked up this Citronella candle. It's the Better Homes and Gardens. I thought it was just so cute and it matched perfectly in this space. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that this looks okay with these chairs? I think it's going to be fine. And again, that's such a great deal. Less than $15 each on these cushions. And you will always find a lazy dog laying back here on the back patio. This is one of his favorite spots as well. All right, it is going to probably be loud out here. We have a nest of birds up in that corner there, and then my husband is out in that shop working, so you're gonna hear some hammering and banging and birds chirping. But here's what I'm about to work on. This is my sectional. I absolutely love this. It came from Home Depot. We've had it probably three or four years now. It has held up really great. My only um, issue this year is the cushions. Um, last year we had a puppy and our neighbor had a puppy and so they had a field day with my cushions and I lost some. So the, um, the actual back cushions here, I'm missing one totally. And so I've just kind of had to try to make do because I think this one was really supposed to be on the, on the arm and then there's, I'm missing one completely. So I'm trying to just make it work. And um, then the ottoman actually had a cushion just like the rest of these. And so I completely lost that one. But a lot of the others, well, for one thing, they're just dirty. They just need washing and they do have a zipper. I'm not real crazy about the material of these. And I have taken them off and washed them with the, you know, in the washing machine and Sometimes the zippers mess up and it's hard to get them back on. And I'm gonna take this and just, I know you can pressure wash them. We have pressure washed them in the past, but anyway, they need cleaned. But a lot of the cushions are kind of like this, like the zippers are messed up or some of them have a little bit of um, where they got chewed on and stuff like that. So I ordered these off of Amazon. I guess they're more for your um, interior couches and stuff like that. It's just a real thin, little cover and it's elastic and it just fits right on there and you can just take them off easily and wash them. I really love this color. I can't remember what the color was called. I'll have to look it up and I'll link these, but I couldn't find anything that actually matched the back cushions. So my, I'm wondering, is this gonna blend in okay if I put this over the bottom cushions? Is it gonna blend in okay with the current color? So, y'all gonna have to help me out. I'm gonna get these put on here. I really do like it up against the um, wicker part. But anyway, I'm gonna put these on and then y'all let me know down in the comments if you think I should keep them, if you think it'll be okay. I like that I can just easily take them off and on and throw them in the washing machine and they're very soft and I just like the texture of them. So anyway, let's get these on. Y'all let me know what you think. Here's a look at it with the cushions on. It's not a terrible contrast. It's just the bottom part has a little bit more of a tan um, color where the tops are just more like an ivory. So it's not a huge contrast. Um, I think I'm probably gonna keep them. And I think it'll look better when I put some throw pillows out here and put just maybe a little bit of color. I think that'll help too. It'll just kind of blend it all in. So let's get some pillows out here and see what we think. All right, here is a look with some throw pillows put on there. I think that looks so much better. These are some pillow covers from Amazon. It's just kind of a blue and white striped. They have the zipper, you can easily wash those. These are pillow color covers also from Amazon, but I actually found them brand new in the bag at the thrift store. But I will link anything that I can um, down in the description box. These are both thrift store finds. I love this lumbar pillow. It is so nice. It's big. I got it at the thrift store. Um, you probably saw it on one of my thrift hauls lately. Also, that boho looking pillow. Um, I got that at the thrift store. And I like putting a couple of pillows there in that corner because like I showed you about the back cushions being a little bit off. 
so it left a little gap back there in that corner so i think that looks good and then the same matching pillows over here i actually had these cream ones inside in my house but um we just throw them off of the couch and they actually just stay in the floor more than they stay on the couch so i thought that would look okay to put them out here and then this pillow is better homes and gardens can't say the color very well on it it's almost like a green color but it got chewed up a little bit last year too but i thought it would be okay for this little chair this fun little chair came from target I, it was in my office but we just brought it out here because um we had to put my husband a little corner office in my office so we moved that out here i think it looks fine and i think the pillows make it okay to have a little bit different color on those seats what do y'all think though let me know down in the comments so I'm about to wipe down all of like the tabletops and stuff, the little side tables and everything here. And I'm going to mix up some of this Plant Therapy Multi-Surface Cleaner. So Plant Therapy is an essential oil brand. I have used this brand for years, so I was so excited to partner up with them. They sent me this little concentrate to try out. I have never used this before, so I'm very excited. This is the Defender Blend Essential Oil Multi-Surface Cleaner. And it, you can actually get this, the cleaner in different scents and different um, oil blends. So I was excited to try this. They also sent me this cute little spray bottle to put it in. It's a glass bottle. So I'm about to make that up and I'll show you and then we will clean these tabletops. The package came with two of these 30 ml bottles so you actually put one entire bottle into your 16 ounce bottle and fill it with water be careful not to overflow i did that <laughs> and um, made a little bit of a mess but just fill up your spray bottle give it a good shake and you are ready to clean i'm just spraying all of my tabletops i'm going to use this inside on my countertops and just for those quick kitchen wipe downs it smells so good so thank you again to plant therapy for sending me this I am actually going to be affiliated with them now, so I will leave a link down in the description box that has all of their information. Now it's time to get to work on this deck. I told you it needed some repairs and here's how bad it is. One winter, we actually left the base of one of those huge deck umbrellas that like reaches out over the pool. We left the base out here during the winter and some water got up and under it and it just made those boards so weak. And then we had some other boards that were just kind of, um, the knots were kind of messed up on them and they were kind of bucked up. And so we ended up deciding which boards needed replaced and we went to Home Depot and picked up some boards. So for this year, we're just going to replace the ones that need replaced. We have considered actually doing an in-ground pool because our kids love this so much. They are in it every single day. This is our ninth year of having this particular above ground pool. And so next year, we're thinking we're probably going to have to replace the liner and we're going to have to make a decision if we're going to put more money into this above ground or if we might want to invest in an in-ground. But you see that shop in the very back ground of this video we ended up building that this year and so um, that definitely took the place of getting an in-ground pool this year so we are just going to kind of wait and see y'all let me know do you have a pool do you have an above ground in ground what are your thoughts on that um, I would love to have any insight that you have especially if you have an in ground and how you like it it is so much better with all of the boards fixed, although it doesn't look the best. Um, I cannot stain those boards yet. They are treated lumber, so I have to wait until it dries out. And then the entire deck will need a new, a new coat of stain next year. So I'm kind of hoping maybe I can put a coat just on those boards, maybe by the end of summer, and then next summer or next spring, go ahead and stain the entire deck. And maybe it'll match up a little bit better, I'm hoping. And here's something else I need to be working on for this little patio refresh. This cart, we got it from my husband's papa when he passed away. We brought it and we thought it'd be perfect. Oreo, do you want in? You do? You want in? Okay. There you go. 
That's our little outdoor indoor cat. He likes to go in and out. He'll go in and get a snack. He'll walk back out. Anyway, it held up great for a year or so, and um, now we've just had kept it outside, and it's all rusted up. So I'm thinking maybe I can just spray paint it. What do y'all think? Have y'all ever redone anything like this? Um, like metal? I've just not painted a whole lot of metal, but I'm thinking I'm going to just buy some spray paint that's made for metal, maybe some primer. Clean it up really good and see. I mean, it can't look any worse, obviously. So we'll see what we can do with that. Um, stay tuned. Maybe I'll have that done when we get done with this reveal. I ended up digging around out in the shop to see what I could find and I just decided to use some black spray paint that I had. What I'm using here is a primer. It's actually an automotive primer. I was hoping it would cover up some of that rust. I did go over it a little bit with some sandpaper, but like I said, um, I just didn't want to do a whole lot to this. I just wanted to sort of see what I could do with what I had. So not 100% sure how well this is going to hold up, but we will see. Here is how that turned out. I think it turned out cute. I like the black. We'll see how long it holds up. I just like to keep a few extra towels down here. And then in this basket, I actually found that basket on clearance at Lowe's and it's perfect. We like to keep extra sunscreen, bug spray, um, some lighter fluid for our fire pit, stuff like that. And then like my pool, what the stuff I test my pool chemicals with. So I think that worked out just great for this little section and um, it matches pretty well. We had a little rain delay, but that is one of my favorite things about this covered patio. You can sit out here and just enjoy a nice summer rain. So I'm just going to let this video run for just a minute and let you enjoy it too. I ended up getting rained out for the whole rest of the afternoon on that particular day. So this is the next morning and I wanted to show you the finished product. So I hope that you enjoy. I'm just going to pan through and show you all of the different areas and um, let you see it. And then stay tuned to the very end and I will show you what it looks like at night. These lounge chairs actually came from Sam's. They are very comfortable. They have some padding on them. They have held up great. We've had these a couple of years now. They do get pretty hot, so we usually throw a towel over them if we're going to be laying on them. And then these two deck boxes also came from Sam's. I've had these for many years, and I am considering painting them. I think I said that last year, and I never did it. So y'all let me know if you've ever painted those deck boxes like that, and what kind of paint you used.
Here is a look up on the deck and onto the pool deck from the yard so you can kind of see how everything is set up. Now when we built our house we originally just had an uncovered deck that is attached to the house. Then we added the pool deck onto that when we put in the above ground pool. Then we came in later and added the cover onto the covered part. So we have done this in many steps. We didn't do all of this right off the go. So you know sometimes it takes time and this is how it has turned out and we absolutely love it. Like I said, we still are having some rain, but I did want to show you the outside lights as I promised. I picked up these lights several years ago at Harbor Freight. They have been wonderful and we have two strands of those up here and I love it. Well, we've got some more rain and it sounds like a little summer thunderstorm popping up out here, which I absolutely love sitting under here when it's raining and storming. But I thought that was the perfect way to end today's video. I hope that you enjoyed decorating the patio with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come back next week. Remember, I do upload a new video every week. So I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.